So this fire started approximately yesterday at 520 in the afternoon. Uh, the, the original problem was really getting access to it from our ground resources, so the priority was using aircraft to really try to hold this fire in check to prevent growth. Uh, but because of those access issues and getting ground resources there to start building containment lines or control lines, uh, the fire grew overnight and of course with this morning uh, it's grown a little bit more. Guys, has anybody been hurt? Has there been any damage to structures? No, it's in a pretty remote area. As again I said, you know, access is a problem. Uh, it's currently all, all burning in Plumas County, however, uh, we're the jurisdiction or the, that is in charge of uh, suppression right now, working with Plumas County and Plumas National Forest, but uh, we're the lead agency on uh, containing and controlling this fire right now. Talk to me about evacuations. Are people having to leave this area and about so, how many? So it's a very remote area. I think what I've heard in, in some conversations, there's probably no more than three, four or five homes in the, the evacuation area. Uh, so there's very, very limited residences there. And so Butte County Sheriff, along with Plumas County Sheriff, are making contacts if people are there or if it's some kind of vacation house or something, but they're making positive contact. And we really want to put an emphasis on the people here in Butte County that it's moving away from communities like Megalia, Town of Paradise, uh, and Concal. Uh, the fire's moving up towards the High Lakes or Lake Philbrook area, uh, so that, that's a good thing right now. And will evacuations be lifted anytime soon, do you believe? I don't know. Uh, law enforcement, in conjunction with uh, the incident commander of CAL FIRE, uh, will make those deter determinations uh, whether to expand the evacuation area or limit it. Uh, kind of the reason we did an evacuation warning for some of the areas there, we want to prevent the public from going in just because of those access issues. we got to get our ground resources in there to fight this fire, so we really want the public to stay out of the area. Explain to me again how firefighters are fighting this fire. Is it all from the ground? Are we still doing no, we got aircraft up and over the fire right now. Uh, we're, st we're getting uh, our night resources off the fire to get them some rest, and we're bringing in an enormous amount of uh, resources right now to fight this fire during the day. Uh, so, but those access issues are a problem. Uh, so the, the, the fire agency or CAL FIRE is working on improving roads so we can get equipment in there and build control and containment lines on this fire. Talk to me about containment, if any. Uh, Zero percent contained right now. And do you know the cause of this fire? I uh, know it's under investigation. And is this uh, common for this time of the year, or do you think this is kind of early for us to see a fire this size? I uh, know. I mean, if you look around the state of California, especially up on Shasta and Plumas County, uh, no, we've had some significant fires up in this uh, what we call the timber area. Uh, so fires are growing large in this area because of the drought conditions and the fuel conditions. They've, dry out. They've dried out earlier this year. So yeah, we're going to see fires grow in this kind of fuel model a lot quicker. Do you know uh, when firefighters will be thinking about retreating or are we still not at that part? No, they got, a, they got enough overhead up there that are managing this fire and, and putting the resources where they think they can start to build control lines on this fire. Uh, so they're working that out, but the bottom line is access. We, it's, a, it's a long drive in there. It's not like a, a, a normal road to get somewhere. There's timber roads and dirt roads, so getting people in there is, is taking a little bit of time. And so when you say it's hard for access, just getting crews in there yes. is hard? Yes. There's not man-made roads for them to go on? There, there's man-made roads, which we refer up here as timber roads. Uh, they're not the normal pavement roads like you see behind us, like Highway 70. So uh, they're not meant for an enormous amount of traffic like we're going to be putting in there. So, But we're working on maybe widening in those roads or putting areas in where we can stage resources to get them to fight this fire. Do you know about how many firefighters are on this fire? Uh, right now, I'd say there's probably about 250, but uh, probably by the end of the day or by tomorrow, we're, we're, we're thinking we're probably going to have a 1,000 firefighters up here to fight this fire. If you don't know answer this, that's okay. Are there any inmate, fi inmate firefighters helping? I don't know what crews are up there, whether it's our Firefighter 1 crews or our CDC crews or our California Conservation crews, but we do have crews on this fire. Is there anything else you wanted to add that I didn't ask you? No, we just, you know, uh, the fire history in this area is pretty significant. People are on edge. Uh, we, even though we say this fire is moving away from the populated areas, we want people to be prepared. Listen to social media, uh, listen to TV, radio, just pay attention to what this fire is going to do. Uh, be prepared if asked to leave. Uh, we don't foresee it right now, but we want people to be cognizant of what this fire is doing. And when you say people are on edge, do you mean that they are anticipating this or they're nervous? Or no, we campfire. We campfire started uh, relatively close to where this fire is burning. Uh, we know what the campfire did to these communities up here. So uh, the people have moved back after the campfire. Uh, they're, they're on edge. Uh, I can be honest with you, when I heard Camp Creek Road yesterday on the dispatch, the hair on my neck stood up a little bit because we know the fire history in this area. 
So we're cognizant of that as firefighters and, and we're sympathetic to the public. But, so we want to get that information out to maybe set their mind at ease, but also be prepared if, if something occurs, be prepared to leave if asked to.